Hi, welcome. I'm Priscilla Batzel. This is Expressionist Flute Art Studio Gallery's demonstrations and tutorials. Let's have some fun. This is one of my silicone rubber brushes. This is an 18 by 24 inch canvas and I am going to just add paint. In this case it's made in black gloss. I thought I would, was going to add light colors first, but that's not really how this is working out. And I happen to be a big fan of Dancing Fuchsia, so that's where I'm starting. And I happen to like it with saffron. That's next. Wipe off my brush. Make an attempt not to. I should use more paint. Or pulled it harder. Obviously, I will be adding more paint over that. I'm just going to have some fun. This is blue flame. This is a primary element. Mix it up with some oriental blue. And some perfect, perfectly, perfect indigo. And I'm going to put a little more of the Dancing Fuchsia there. Now, because I didn't get enough paint the first time, I'm just going to add more now. But Tuscan Sun. thinking about this custom yellow orange which is getting plugged up evidently I'm thinking I want to play more with the Prussian Violet. As long as I can get it to come out. Which is being difficult. So I'm going to use some blue velvet with it. Which is being more amicable. <laughs> Wipe off my brush again in between. Thinking about some silver. That's Decart, iridescent silver.
long as I get some paint on, I'm all good. I'm definitely being called to some more of this orange yellow. Go back to the Tuscan Sun again. Seems to be the only bottle that's not being a problem. Crush. And while I'm at it, a little whispering wisteria, orange crush, prison pour, whispering wisteria, perfectly pigment. That's the Whispering Wisteria. It's a blue flame. That's the blue velvet. Time to clean my brush again. I want some fancy fuchsia in there. I have some place here, yes, Midnight Shadow. Probably use some more of that. Going with the flow, not thinking about much of anything. Knowing that sooner or later something will happen that'll inspire me to add a different color someplace else. I'm being called a cyan aqua. If I didn't hide it on myself, it'd be perfect. And I found it cool. Never a bad thing. I'm thinking I want a little bit. That was the Whispering Wisteria with Cyan Aqua. They were all three purely pigments. That's a little bit of African Violet. And I still have paint on my brush, which I could flip over. Maybe I'll stay with flipping. If I like 
like it, I'll go back. Add some more color. In the meantime, Don't mind mixing things a little bit. Especially if they were a good combination at the time. But I definitely want to do that again. Without the tail on, please. I'd like to have all my bottles be clean when I start, but there are so many colors that I love, it makes it really difficult. Making some progress. Feeling like there might, might be some red in my future. That could be Rhapsody Rose or it could be Big Apple, but I still need to wipe my brush off. I am going to do an experiment. I'm going to use the Whispering Wisteria. Rhapsody Rose, which is a primary element. Seems like I'm not starting out with enough paint. But I don't mind the attempt at mixing things either. could be doing mark making to like areas where the color is heaviest, but I really am thinking about this as just a stage one. I love, love, love using my residuals. Inclined after I wipe my brush off to try some of the uh, oriental blue again. I'm going to combine it, I think, with a little bit more blue velvet. I could just leave my white spaces white. Come back and do whatever I'm going to do next time. I've got a smaller brush and I'm certainly able to use it. So let's do that. Where?
my black is pretty well dry, so I can scrape anything off I want to. Not so with the other colors, though. I really do like the white. I think I'm going to indulge myself. Or else I might want that. Because tomorrow I can layer colors over. Not so much today because I'm not sure what would happen. That doesn't keep me from wanting to try it. That or the mark making. So I'll be back when this is dry. And then there'll be another stage. Okay, so I'm back and this is dry. And uh, I fell right in love with it dry. But I want to do a few things to it. One of them is add a little black in some of the places where the black is thin. And I think just adding some squares. We'll see. We'll see how I feel about it. Well, we might be adding some squares in some places. Also, some of the colors went went over, so I kind of thought it might be interesting to um, do this uh, something similar in covering that color up. I want to put some white dots in. But I want to get rid of that sort of gray tone that shows the canvas through. I thought I would be interest. I thought I would be willing to, um, you know, make a pattern on top, but it doesn't seem to need it, and it's covering so nicely that I'm just going to go with the flow. <laughs> Pun intended. Not that there's a lot of flow in this style, but. I think I am going to leave some some marks like that because I find them interesting. It might be unfortunate when I look at my I did a digital doodle with some of the dots and some of the dashes and some lines and some other things. It might be unfortunate if I'm putting black, wet black in places I wanted to put white dots, but oh well. 
because I really like this. All right, let's give it some white. Now I've got a used Q-tip, believe it or not. I probably should have put that white in something else. So I'm gonna run some, some white dots right down here, in spite of the fact that, actually, I'm gonna move that whole plan away. Put them someplace else entirely. Try and skip every one so I have an even distribution. I've got more Q-tips. I just have to choose a color. I don't think the Dancing Fuchsia is going to show up in the orange, with the possible exception of where the orange is really thin, which might be a cool experiment to do. So I'm going to use the other end of that. Actually, I'm going to use an entirely different Q-tip. Maybe if I'm long-winded enough, I'll fast forward through this portion. I really wanted to use one of my rubber brushes. I like that. I thought I should have used orange up there. I put some red in my sketch, and I don't have any red in here. And I put it down at the bottom. I don't think I can do that. Maybe I could do it with the fuchsia, the dancing fuchsia. I'll give it a try. We'll use one of my tools. I need a different a rush though. It's like I want that to go all the way down. One more time. There, I like that may want to use some white. Actually, I wonder if the Whispering Wisteria would work up here. Now where can I put that? I'm lucky earlier I dampened my studio sponge or I wouldn't have been able to do that. works. Makes me want blue. 
Maybe I'll use the residual spring wisteria. I might have to turn my canvas. That almost destroyed my dots. Wow. I wonder if I can go backwards. I kind of like to take that. I knew there were going to be residuals on stuck to that. Now what can I do with this blue? I can put it over here. And it's subtle, but it's cool. Hmm. Makes me want more dancing fuchsia right down at the bottom. But the whispering wisteria would work over that. Just beginning to get rolling now. Save that. Hopefully I'll find a place to use it in a moment. I'm not hating what I'm doing. I was a lot worried about destroying what I liked about this. And so far I'm liking what I'm doing quite well. This here though, that wants all of my spare paint. I don't mind darkening that up at all. Because if, if you've watched me since I discovered Whispering Wisteria, you know that I love that color. I always have. Even by other brands. Alright, so now how much more do I want to do? And is my black dry enough to do any white? Do I dare? I'm going to wipe that off. So I wasted a little paint. Doesn't happen very often. I couldn't do this the last time I wanted to, mostly because I wasn't quick enough. I didn't get all the stripes I wanted out of that. So do I have another tool? I do. I have a tool with tinier teeth on it, which in theory ought to give me more stripes. I think that worked. Do I want to do it again? Maybe. Not sure. I want that piece of black back. I want to put more black in too. Now oh, that went by really fast. I've got like no time. Literally a minute. I 
actually like it when I make that mistake and, and my hand wobbles. But I do theorize that I'm going to wind up fast forwarding through a lot of this. probably going to want to come back in a second, so. Thank you for joining me. Please share a thumbs up and subscribe. Choose all when you click the bell if you're going to help me out. If you're interested in a certain method, I have a wide assortment of playlists sharing different methods. Please watch as much of my video as possible to positively affect the algorithm. EASPBGallery at gmail.com is my email address to inquire about a private class or the purchase of artwork, please feel free to ask questions. They're always welcome. My channel survives with the assistance of channel memberships and PayPal donations, and I want to send a huge thank you out to all my supporters.